Hey YouTube, this video will be the first of a multi-part video series where I explain some basics and best practices when using SOLIDWORKS. The first thing you'll need is a plan on what you're going to do. Our plan will be to create a plastic iPhone 5 case as suggested by a viewer. The next thing you'll want to do is customize your SOLIDWORKS environment. To do that, we'll create a custom template. I won't show you how to create a custom template because Javelin Technologies channel has a great tutorial on how to do that. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out. As you can see, I already have a custom template. My custom template has different units as well as some custom properties. I like to put my material and drawn by into the custom properties so that when I create a drawing from my part the material and the drawn by are automatically updated in the drawing. You can do many other things by changing the settings and custom properties to suit your needs. The next thing you'll want to do is to create a design journal. If you don't use the design journal I highly recommend that you do as it adds value and quality to the parts that you make. To create a new design journal, right click on the top of your feature manager tree, the hidden tree items, design binder, then design journal. If you haven't created one for this part yet, it will show as empty. To create one, go to open. What you'll see is a Word document come up. This Word document contains your file name, the description, and material. These will all update automatically when you rebuild your part or assembly. In the design journal, we can catalog our design narrative. What this allows us to do is describe to other team members, ourselves, or our customer what we're trying to do. For example, say we are given a design checklist by our customer. So we can consolidate all this information by using objects. Go to Insert, Object, Create from File, and Browse. Our customer, XYZ, has sent us a checklist. Customer XYZ wishes for a fast, cheap, and reliable case. You can use the design journal to consolidate all of your documents into one convenient place that travel with your part. Like I said before, using the design journal will add value and quality to the parts you make. You can save by control S or by simply exiting and it will save automatically. Then you'll have a new tree item as design binder with your design journal. In the next video we'll explore different part design techniques. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like or subscribe and thanks for watching.